Welcome everyone to another Teleaquarium presentation here at the Alaska Sea Life Center. My name is Darren, and today we're going to be learning all about one of my favorite groups of fish, the rockfish. These creatures are amazing. As you can see here, rockfish are sort of the classic fish shape. They've got these kind of stout bodies, kind of football shaped, and uh, nice big pectoral fins, the ones out there on the sides. Uh, this particular one is a quillback rockfish, and you can see they've got a nice big eye, beautiful colors that blend in with the rocks around them, uh, excellent camouflage in some of the rockfish species. Now there are over 30 rockfish species here in Alaska, and uh, we're going to take a look at just a handful of them today. So let's give you some examples here. We've got a black rockfish. This is... Uh, one of the more common species of rockfish that you'll see here in Alaska. And this black rockfish, you can see, has got kind of shifty eyes. Uh, that's another common characteristic of the rockfish. Uh, they tend to look at you. Their eyes move around quite a bit. And uh, they'll take a look at you through the window here at the Alaska Sea Life Center. It's very fun to interact with our rockfish. Now we have a yellowtail rockfish, another fairly common variety. Uh, that's found here in the waters of Alaska. So these are pretty common fish to catch. People love to eat them, and uh, so they are uh, caught by sport fishers uh, out there in the Gulf of Alaska. This is another little quillback. This is a juvenile, and he's kind of showing off their ability to park themselves in the rocks, and they'll park themselves upside down and sideways. Other times they tend to just kind of hang up there in the water like this canary rockfish, this bright orange one with the white stripe down its side. That's the lateral line that helps these fish sense their surroundings. Here's a nice big yellow eye rockfish, and these are the ones that people often catch when they're uh, angling for halibut. Yellow eyes are found fairly deep down, and these are some of the bigger rockfish out there in the Gulf of Alaska. This one is a copper rockfish. A little bit more cryptic coloration, that kind of copper color on the sides, uh, a little mottled white color. And here's one that most people would not ever get to see. This is called a black spotted rockfish. Uh, these are some of my favorites here at the Alaska Sea Life Center, actually. They're sort of prehistoric looking. You can see these huge scales on the rockfish. Uh, these black spotted rockfish uh, were actually collected uh, in our tank, uh, in our reservoir underneath the building. They swam in through the pipe on their own. And uh, we put a little trap down there and we're able to collect those fish uh, just right here on our own property. So uh, rockfish can be classified as either pelagic or non-pelagic. Now pelagic just means sort of out and about in the water, uh, away from the bottom. Non-pelagic means you're more associated with the bottom. And so uh, pelagic species like this yellowtail might be found in a larger school a little bit up, up away from the rocks. Uh, where non-pelagic species like this canary rockfish might be found closer to the rocks and only in fewer numbers. So that's an important distinction uh, between these different species of, or groups of species of rockfish. The pelagic species tend to be shorter lived. They might live 7 to 30 or so years, where the non-pelagic species might live several decades. And in fact, uh, yellow eye rockfish uh, have been known to live over 120 years, and there's been one rough eye rockfish that was aged at over 200 years old. So these are some very long-lived fish indeed. Now with such long lives, uh, some of these rockfish species don't even start having babies until they're 20 years old or so. Having babies, you say? Indeed, yes! Rockfish have live birth. So a female rockfish will uh, give birth to live babies. Now they're tiny, maybe a centimeter long, you barely see them at all. Uh, they look like a little clear stripe with eyeballs and a little bit of uh, some intestines, some guts in there that you would just barely see uh, with your naked eye. <clears throat> but a female rockfish can give birth to thousands or in some cases millions of babies uh, each year. So they have lots of them. Now those tiny little larval rockfish are just typically going to start off by just sweeping around with the other plankton out there in the ocean. Of course, most of them will get eaten before they have a chance to settle down toward the bottom and uh, find hiding places to get away from all those other ocean predators. The lucky few 
who do start to grow up uh, might look like this little juvenile yellow eye rockfish here. And although this fish in this video is only a few inches long, it is probably already several years old uh, at this size. Those yellow eye rockfish can get to be about three feet long. And again, could live to be over 120 years old. Now rockfish are members of the Scorpinidae family, the scorpion fishes. You may be familiar with some of those. They include things like lionfish and stonefish, scorpionfish. Uh, these are fish with venomous spines, and rockfish are no exception. They do have venomous spines. The, the uh, venom of the rockfish is not terribly strong. It'll give you a painful sting. Uh, so it's not super dangerous, but it is indeed uh, a sting, and you want to avoid that. So our aquarists have to take careful... Uh, measures to make sure that they're not stung by those spines. The same is true if you're actually trying to catch rockfish. You want to avoid those dorsal spines on the top and the pectoral fins uh, on the sides as well. Those spines that stick out have the venom in them. And you can see that those spines on the dorsal fin are often sort of folded back and in a more relaxed posture, but uh, if a fish feels like it needs to show off for some reason or maybe it's feeling threatened, it will stand up those dorsal fin spines in an impressive display like this little quillback rockfish in this image here. Rockfish live near rocky areas, hence the name rockfish, uh, and as such they're going to hunt for prey around the rocks. So the food that they like to eat typically is going to be smaller fish, uh, maybe some shrimp and krill or crustaceans like that, uh, that they'll find in and among the rocks. So they don't stray too far from those rocky areas to hunt for their prey, um, but they can put on quite a burst of speed to attack those creatures that they like to eat. So let's take a look at some videos and see how these rockfish attack their prey. Right now in this first video you can see Jared the diver there has a little hunk of squid and he's wiggling it to give it a little action. That little black rockfish comes up and with a very quick motion of its mouth, inhales that squid. You barely even see it move. Uh, eats it so quickly. Now here we've got a canary rockfish. Same thing, a little chunk of squid. This canary's a little bit more suspicious. Uh, it's gonna take a second look though. You see those shifty eyes moving around. Jared gave that squid a toss, and boy, that canary seemed to really enjoy that one, actually. Uh, once, it, once it came around, got really excited about that one. All right, here we go. Uh, Jared's having to avoid a little puffin there, but this yellow eye, one of our larger rockfish, uh, is gonna come up, and that's a huge mouse that could easily fit Jared's whole hand inside there, but it just gently sucked in that squid. Another yellow eye taking a close look. This one's gonna take a little bit more of a, a beeline straight for that prey. This time it's a little fish, looks like a capelin. Didn't take long to devour that one. Here we've got a very suspicious rockfish down there in the lower right corner. We've got a copper rockfish that really wants a piece of that fish that Jared's holding. But you're going to notice these dorsal spines on that copper rockfish stand up. Jared gives the fish a toss, and from a distance, that copper rockfish waits for that prey to come right to it. And then happily eats it. As it swims away, you notice those spines fold back down, so it's no longer feeling like it needs to uh, show how dangerous it is. One more suspicious one. I enjoy this one. This canary just decided that was a little bit too close for comfort and uh, shied away from that fish that time. Now here you can see uh, Jared has just put a baggie full of krill into the water and so rockfish all around are eating those up just like popcorn straight out of the water and uh, the food that we feed here at the Alaska Sea Life Center is previously frozen so none of these fish are having to chase live prey but they could and they actively do they're actually quite fun for people to catch because they're such aggressive feeders and um, that brings me to my final point here about conservation of rockfish so People love to eat them, myself included. Uh, rockfish are quite tasty uh, and very valuable, but with their long lifespans, very slow to reproduce, 
we have to be extremely careful. If you catch them before they have a chance to replace themselves out there in their population, then you can easily overfish these rockfish species, especially those non-pelagic, longer-lived species, uh, like the yellow-eye rockfish, the canaries. So, uh, fishing regulations are very strict on rockfish, and it's important to know which species are which, uh, because the regulations are different for the pelagic versus the non-pelagic species, for example. Uh, and another uh, conservation-related issue with rockfish species is their, their swim bladder, and that is the little gas-filled pocket that's sort of like a balloon inside their body that allows them to just sit there. Whether they're touching a rock or not, they can just kind of hang in the water because they've got that swim bladder. Uh, if you catch them down deep and bring them up to the surface, they're not able to vent that swim bladder quickly enough and uh, adjust to that change in pressure, that rapid change in pressure, and what happens is the fish are injured by what's called barotrauma. That basically means damage to the fish sustained by a change in pressure. And uh, as that swim bladder expands, they're just not able to counteract that. So uh, it can cause damage to the fish's body, and if you're trying to release that fish, it's actually not really feasible to do that because they'll just be floating at the surface with this giant swim bladder full of gas inside their body. There are um, more recent research results that indicate being able to get those fish back down to the depth that they came from uh, can be successful. The fish can be released and, and still survive afterwards, uh, but it does require very careful handling. Uh, it's not necessarily uh, in a high-tech device. It could just be a fish hook with the barb ground off and um, just something to get that fish back down to the depth that it needs to be at, and then it can swim away, uh, but it does require, again, careful handling of those fish if you're trying to release them. So, uh, generally speaking, the regulations and uh, the recommendations for fishing are, if you're not intending to catch rockfish and you start catching them, head somewhere else. Target other species, because they are not very easily releasable. Um, and if you do catch them, you're going to reach your limit pretty quickly because, again, they're super aggressive feeders and uh, the limits are fairly low, so we don't accidentally overfish those species. Well, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed checking out our rockfish and uh, get a chance to come visit the Alaska Sea Life Center again soon. But uh, until then, continue to follow us on our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook as well. And uh, if you're, you're Following the YouTube channel, you'll notice the Education Corner playlist has uh, all of the videos that we've recorded from this period of time that we've been recording these daily. So uh, take a look at that playlist, share it with others, and enjoy. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.